3Pixel is an interactive pavement slab that transform urban environments through play. It combines color, light and sound to encourage people to be playful, social and really kind of have a bit of fun in outdoor spaces. So the basic technologies are sensors to kind of feel the pressure of people standing on it. We're using LEDs to light up the pixels and we're using little speakers that are called surface excitors. The tiles themselves, they work in a similar way to bathroom scales, so they're kind of measuring the weight of people going across it. So when you stand on it, it can detect that there's pressure applied to it. And when someone steps on it, it will send a message to our games design platform, which will then kind of create an interaction, either some lighting or some audio um, to play in response. So we've currently got two game modes on there. We've got a piano mode where you step on one of the pixels and it will sort of light up and make a sound. And we have different sounds for each of the pixels. And then we have another game mode called Whack-A-Mole. So one pixel will light up and you have to try and get to it in time and tap on it before another one lights up. We've tried to make it as accessible as possible, so we've had like all ages, um, people in wheelchairs coming onto it as well, um, so we're hoping that just anyone that's kind of walking down the street can either see it and start playing with it or just step on it and be surprised and it will light up and hopefully just make people happy. <laughs> I think Street Pixel really brings people together. It pulls you in, it means something lights up, makes sound, what's going on there. So I think it, it attracts people, it kind of invites people to participate first and foremost. But beyond that, I think when people do start interacting with it, there's a sense of ownership because you're being creative, you're actually making music, you're making sounds, and better yet, you can do it together. So there's multiple people doing it. It really encourages social play. And because we're looking to do this outdoors, you can start playing with you know, strangers, which is, I think is quite beautiful. We'd like people to buy them and put them in their streets and to have them worldwide, you know. Ideally, this would be something as easy to, to put into the, to the, the world around us as something like cat's eyes. And they're all over the place. And they're not horrible e-waste pieces of junk. They are kind of carefully made, uh, carefully managed things that people will love for years. I think it's for people who are kind of, people who want to transform spaces, you know, kind of people who are in leadership positions and in government, local authorities who are thinking, you know what, we've got to do things about, you know, our, our landscapes, our urban environments. We've got to tackle social social issues in interesting ways, you know, and I think play is an often forgotten about way to kind of tackle things. And so it's for people who are willing to kind of take bold steps and, and you know, make cool, cool stuff happen.